This video will look at how to change the appearance of a Moodle site to make it look more like a regular website by creating clickable navigation buttons and hiding sections. In the part 1 video we looked at how to avoid the Moodle scroll of death by selecting show one section per page in settings which helps to tidy up the main page. In this video I want to take that one step further and have a main course page that shows navigation buttons that lead to different sections but have those sections hidden on the main page itself. First let's create navigation buttons. This site has 10 sections so we'll make 10 buttons. You can use different software to create the buttons but here I'm using PowerPoint. Click on insert, shapes, select a square and draw a button shape. Then with a text box label the button Control D duplicates the button. Edit the name of the other button. And then for each one, select Save as Picture. Back in the Moodle site, I want to create a table for the navigation buttons. I'm going to put it here in the first content module. Click Edit Summary. First, I want to remove any section name, so untick the default and just enter a space as the name. Now, insert a new table. Ten buttons, so five columns and two rows. Select Center Alignment and I'm going to stretch it out to 100%. Next, click inside a cell, insert image, In appearance, I'm going to change the width to 120 pixels. Insert. You need to click inside the subsequent cells of the table to add the other labels. Now we have labels that we need to convert into buttons by assigning them a URL. So from the last tutorial, when we selected show one section per page, it makes the title for each section clickable. And when we click it, it reveals a URL. That's what we need to copy and assign to the labels to make them into clickable buttons. Click update, click on the image, insert link, and then paste the URL. Now we do the same for the second one. This time just use one section number higher, so use section 3 and then repeat this procedure for the rest. Now, as you can see, if you click over the buttons, they take you to the appropriate section of the Moodle site. Also, for the banner at the top of the site, make it clickable and direct it to the URL of the main Moodle page to make it like a home button. The final thing we need to do in settings is to set the number of weeks or topics to one, which means that only one section will be shown on the main page along with the introduction section. And that's it. If I change my role to student role, we now have a very different looking main page to our Moodle site, but with the familiar Moodle resources and activities once we click on a section.